Lena Fishbein's mother, who has fought back against indoctrination at our children's school outside Philadelphia. We've had her on before, and we're delighted to have her again tonight. Lena, thanks so much for coming on. What do, you have made a particularly eloquent case for why the schools should just teach your kids academics. How does it feel to be designated a domestic terrorist for demanding that? Well, that, that is funny that um, when I was on your show first time, I was a concerned parent. And look what happened within a year. I was elevated to the status of domestic terrorist by the DOJ and the Biden administration. Uh, this is indeed appalling, outrageous, insane that the DOJ is weaponizing the FBI to, who oppose the policies and actions of the, uh, of the school boards. Uh, this is something that should be very worrisome to every citizen in our country. And the media are defending it. This, this may be the low point that I've ever seen in 30 years of watching. I have to ask, you're, I, I don't think you're going to be intimidated by this. You told us last time you came to this country in part for the education. You're clearly tough and single-minded. But there are parents, don't you think, who will be intimidated into silence? Uh, indeed, and that's one of their biggest weapons. It's a weapon of terrorists to intimidate the opposition. So there will not be any opposition. However, that's a central part, part of my work in my movement, No Left Heart in Education, to mobilize parents, to empower them so we expose what they are doing in schools. Therefore, our parents all over the country, in many states, are going to school board and are going together so they won't be intimidated, so they can support each other and insist on exposing specifically what being taught in classes. This is really uh, very puzzling. Why we as parents cannot see what specific material our kids are learning in classes? Why do we have, in fact, to pay money in order to file under the Freedom of Information Act so we can get uh, some look at what they are doing with our children while our children are in classes?